With the Summer League and NBA draft over, all attention has now turned to the potential moves and trade rumors that could shake up the offseason. From Donovan Mitchell to Russell Westbrook, a host of big names could be on new teams before play tips off again at the start of next season. In today's video, we'll be discussing some of the latest rumors from the NBA world. First up, the Lakers admit they got the Westbrook call wrong. At the moment, there's no traction on a potential Russell Westbrook, Kyrie Irving swap between the Lakers and the Nets. According to ESPN's Dave McMenamin, stalled talks have in turn spurred the Lakers to look elsewhere for some backcourt reinforcements. LA currently has re-engaged dialogue with the Pacers, expressing their interest in acquiring Indiana shooting guard Buddy Heald. Last Wednesday, McMenamin said on ESPN's NBA Today, this could be a deal that could include Russell Westbrook if you're talking about about also having Miles Turner in that deal. Or rather, it seems like it would be a secondary move. They'd be taking a Taylor Horton Tucker type of package to try and get healed. Healed, who is a six-year NBA veteran, averaged 15.6 points per game last season, with his lowest output since the 2017 to 2018 season. But after a mid-season trade from Sacramento to Indiana, he had quite a notable uptick in production, averaging a score of 18 point two per game and starting in all 26 games he appeared in. What's most important to the Lakers is that Heald has established himself as one of the game's top marksmen, a career 39.8% three-point shooter who makes an average of three three-pointers per game. The Lakers could use a volume three-point threat to complement Westbrook, who shot under 30% from beyond the arc last season. It's not the first time that the LA Lakers have pursued Heald either. Last summer, before going all-in on Westbrook in a blockbuster trade with the Wizards, they allegedly had a deal in place with Sacramento that would have made Heald a Laker. Instead, the Los Angeles team took on the $44 million albatross that was the Westbrook contract. Plus, Westbrook's fallout with LeBron James. Westbrook recently split with his longtime agent Thad Foucher, who released a shocking bombshell statement that indicated Westbrook was desperate to leave the Lakers. Even if there's precious little public interest in the fading superstar. The Athletic reported that according to league sources, the split caught several people around the Lakers way off guard. It certainly didn't help what was already an unstable environment. But it's not just his agent with whom Westbrook apparently had irreconcilable differences, which according to Thoucher was the reason for their split. It seems that Westbrook had fallen out with LeBron James, who's reportedly pretty keen to shift Westbrook and make room for a potential reunion with Kyrie Irving of the Brooklyn Nets. But ESPN reported that talks between the Nets and the Lakers hadn't progressed, leaving James increasingly unlikely to have Irving on his team this season. Westbrook and James both recently watched the Lakers' summer league game together, but didn't speak to each other at all and even exited the game at different times through different doors. Sources told Southern California News Group that several people within the Lakers organization themselves acknowledged that it was a pretty awkward and tense moment between the two most high-profile superstars. Awkward and tense really sums up the mood at one of the NBA's glamour franchises. Kyle Goon even wrote in the Orange County Register that the subtext of the chilly scene seemed clear. Another remark from James has been interpreted as a possible jab at Westbrook. On a recent episode of his YouTube show, The Shop, James opened up on his desperation to win and how troublesome he finds it when his teammates don't feel the same way. Definitely seems directed at Westbrook. Next, Knicks remain Mitchell's strong preference to be traded to. Elsewhere, the Jazz appear no closer to finding an adequate offer for Donovan Mitchell as trade talks drag on. It was reported last week that the Utah Jazz were discussing a potential deal with the New York Knicks, but were unable to reach an agreement. Reports suggested the Jazz had offered Mitchell in exchange for six future first-round draft picks, in addition to Quinton Grimes. Obi Toppin, Emmanuel Quickly, and Miles McBride. That still didn't appeal to the Knicks, who still remain the strong preference for Mitchell to be traded to. According to ESPN's Tim McMahon, it seems like the Jazz could be heading in a similar direction to the Nets, who are willing to remain patient with no clear end to the Kevin Durant trade talks so far. Despite the rumors, the Utah Jazz have shut down offers from a handful of teams for the star point guard. According to Andy Larson of the 
Salt Lake Tribune. Following the Rudy Gobert trade, they felt that league executives were trying to pounce on what they perceived to be an opportunity to get Mitchell on the cheap. Larson said that according to league sources, one offer came from Miami before the Gobert trade was even finalized. However, the Jazz found that offer insufficient. What's more, Miami's win-now roster has limited picks and young players to trade at the moment. While Utah have knocked back on all offers for the 25-year-old so far, Larson believes the team is now willing to move on from Mitchell for the right price. In fact, the Jazz general manager, Justin Zanuck, hinted that Mitchell's status with the Jazz might be determined by what other teams are offering for him. It looks like if the Jazz got a return that made them more likely to be a championship team, they would do the deal. Justin Zanuck refused to label Mitchell as untouchable when he was asked if the three-time All-Star would be traded. Zanuck said that change is inevitable in the NBA after all. While he wasn't trying to be cryptic, Donovan was on their roster, and he's an important part of what they were trying to do. He also said that things are constantly evolving in the NBA, so we can't possibly assume that anybody is untouchable. They're trying to build a championship team after all. Plus, where there's smoke, there's usually fire. While Donovan's days in Salt Lake City appear numbered, ESPN's Brian Windhorst believes at the very least he needs to prepare himself for the team to enter an inevitable rebuild. And now for some other NBA-related news. Firstly, Patty Mills finalized his deal. The Aussie guard, who was one of the best three-point shooters in the league last season, has re-signed on a two-year, $14.5 million deal to return to the Brooklyn Nets, according to ESPN reporters. The news came just days after Mills opted out of the final year of his deal, which was worth $6.2 million, but his agent immediately added that he had not ruled out a return to the Nets. Although he declined the free agent deal, Wojnarowski reported that a return to Brooklyn wasn't out of the picture yet. Mills had signed with the Nets last summer with the intention of becoming a complementary piece around Kevin Durant and point guard Kyrie Irving. However, due to Irving's strong beliefs on the COVID-19 vaccine, Mills ended up playing heavy rotation minutes, especially during the first half of the season. Even though he had a fantastic season, he will be well over 34 by the time the new campaign tips off. So his new deal gives him an extra year and a slight increase in salary as well. Quite the anticipation, we must say. Also, LeBron defends Tatum from critics. Jason Tatum had an incredible year with the Boston Celtics, most notably leading the team to the NBA Finals. He became the first ever Eastern Conference Finals MVP, and despite the fact that the Boston Celtics ended up losing to the Golden State Warriors, it's pretty clear that only good things await Tatum and the Celtics. Many people have called the player out over his finals performances, as he struggled when guarded by Andrew Wiggins, as well as other Warriors defenders. In fact, Nick Young even claimed that Jason had left Jalen Brown hanging during the game. But recently, LeBron James came to his defense, pointing out that the Celtics star had a phenomenal season regardless of the outcome, and added that he'll surely be back on the highest stage. Jason Tatum has shown that he's a superstar in this league with his playoff run. He now has experience playing in the finals, and there's no doubt that he'll perform even better the next time around. And lastly, what's next for the Nets? Elsewhere, former Nets starting center Andre Drummond has inked a two-year, $6.6 million deal with the Chicago Bulls. It was rumored throughout the week that the Nets were at least somewhat interested in retaining Drummond. However, it now appears that Brooklyn will have to explore other options. Blake Griffin, another one of Brooklyn's centers from last season, has been repeatedly tied to the LA Lakers. And JaVale McGee, who the Nets reportedly had interest in, signed a three-year deal with the Dallas Mavericks. So aside from Claxton, the center spot is fairly up in the air for the Nets. Other than Dayron Sharp, the Nets have little up front. Perhaps that's where Sean Marks will have to strike next. And that's a wrap for this video. What do you think about the Lakers' $63 million mistake? Which NBA team do you think Mitchell might trade with? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.